Hey everyone, Dave here. And today we're checking out the quest to port to Warhammer Tempestfall. Summer is coming, it is a literal sauna in the recording studio. Fortunately, I don't sleep here anymore because I moved to the other apartment. I was basically too tired of sweating my ass off with 30 degrees in the room. And if not for my lovely air conditioner, I would not even try to record here. So we were finally getting a quest version of the Tempestfall. Though it seems like it's only quest 2 exclusive, which I guess it is what it is. Looking at the trailer, I would think it's quest 1 footage looking at the graphics, but maybe the whole physics and mechanics were just too heavy for that platform anymore. The story goes I held off from doing a playthrough on it since the overall project seemed great, it's just the combat system was too wonky and buggy at times that I couldn't really enjoy the game properly. Weird at the same time because Carbon Studios to me is known from really good gameplay from other games. What went wrong with this one? I don't know. I just hope for this release everything is polished out that I'll be able to continue doing the playlist. Fingers crossed and let's go back to Warhammer. Alright, so we'll start from this point because I don't really want to repeat the footage, you've seen it already. So far it's like 15 minutes into the game and the combat actually feels better than before. It's like more impactful, more intuitive, the spells don't one shot them even though we're on the story mode. Like you'll see in action, so I think we're gonna be able to do the play for now. But on the PC VR, because <laughs> with the graphics and stuff, I mean, for the channel purposes it's always more better to just Come at me. use virtual desktop. Yeah, there's like a shaky screen and like physics actually I think properly work now. Yeah. Pretty much. There are some audio issues, definitely. Get down. I have problems in the editing, but whatever. <laughs> it's definitely not a fluid experience. If we're talking about FPSs, just I see why it's on Quest 2. But even this can't handle it. Since like we finished in the moment where we actually <laughs> enter the temple. Hi y'all! I'm very glad this got ported to quest. I mean every game from Carbon Studios eventually do so... It's not the Wizards 3, that's for sure. <laughs> I already consider this the better Warhammer game. <laughs> where to go, where to go? At least this place is still somewhat intact. We'll see about that. Big opening. Hey. <laughs> Push it. <laughs> I can't do both. Hello? Well, that would look amazing on the PC VR. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the graphics are fine. Just I have high standards. Pick yourselves up. Cavalry has arrived. Well met, warriors. Pantarea. The cavalry is late. This city is barely standing. We're still standing, aren't we? That's a good start. Hail, Lord Arcanum! Hail? Any more survivors? I'm afraid not. More skulls for us to crush. I am Balta Sunsight, Vanguard Raptor, at your service. Pantaria Mithras, Liberator, at your service, Lord Arcanum. 
Nathaniel, Sequitur, at your command. I will honor your loyalty. Take heart, for we have our work cut out for us. First things first, where can I maintain my weapons? Huh? Come to the anvil, Lord Arcanum. <laughs> we have crafting or something? I wasn't truly really aware of that. Where's the anvil? The blacksmith's tools are all here. Help yourself, my lord. Here, this should give you an edge against the wraiths. A storm scroll to enhance your weapon. Excellent. It's a start. Place your weapon on the anvil. Oh, it's like upgrading damage and stuff. Cool. I mean, any customization, I'm your fine with. Is in good condition. Did you see much fighting on your journey to the city? I must say one thing for night haunts. Deadly though they are, I do not be swiping blood and viscera from my blade. There is a bright side, even in this grim time, then. Fun. You can find more as you explore the city. Thank you, Bolter. There have also been members of Celeste. Better speak to Nathaniel next, my lord. He has something for you. Spirit flasks. My lord. Nathaniel. As a master of the arcane, you should always carry a spirit flask. Take one of these. Excellent. I know this is a measure of last resort, but it provides me with possibilities. You need to fill them with mortal souls in the city before use, and use them wisely. Thank you, Nathaniel. Speak to Pantarea near the war table. You need to take care of something. She'll tell you more. Lord Arcanum! Have you scouted the area yet? There wasn't much time. This map shows Dreadheim as it was before the Necroquake. Needless to say, it is no longer accurate. If you come across any curious location, I'll be sure to mark it on the map. Will do. I see there's something in this very temple. I should have a look. Indeed. There's a way down into the crypt behind you, beside Nathaniel. You should go down there immediately. Got it. I'll play a little bit, then we'll see. I feel like I'm gonna do the hardcore mode for some reason. <laughs> I think it's on this way. Cut them. <laughs> Why do I have to do all the dirty job? This should be the place. Is this a draft I'm feeling? The what? The necroquake disrupted the dead, even inside a sanctuary to Sigma. I definitely see myself playing it tomorrow. Sigma, grant me strength. But on the PCVR, like, I don't like the performance on the standalone. I don't know if I'm just picky or... Come at me. Wait, let me see. I need to be like precise with the blocking.
I wish I would have like dashes. <laughs> That's my playstyle. No one else will purge this temple of corruption. So I will. <laughs> we can close this. I wonder if it's a puzzle or something. No. <laughs> but there's some stuff to collect. Oh. So, that's where the breeze came from. Just how deep does the corruption run in this place? What? I can't go? Oh, I had to climb. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm having a deja vu. <laughs> but that's the perfect way to end it though. So yes, we'll be doing the playlist on the PC VR version though, because just the graphics and stuff like that. It's the same game, I just want it to look pretty. <laughs> I can feel that the mechanics were changed and the combat seems miles better. At the same time, the performance on the standalone is kind of downgraded. Frames are skipping, audio is skipping. I mean, it is a heavy game after all, 8 gigabytes, And maybe it's too much or it's just the wrong optimization, I don't know. But on the finishing note, I'm willing to continue it in this state now and uh, I'll have to figure it out how to progress here. <laughs>